Welcome back to Smart Money Monday. There's been a lot of discussion in the news lately about a few troubled banks. Fortunately, depositors in those banks didn't lose any of their money thanks to the FDIC, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Here to explain how the FDIC works and how it protects your hard-earned money is Adam Morris from Bank of Hawaii. Aloha, Adam. Hey, good to see you, Steve. So, Adam, what does it mean when a bank is a member of FDIC? Well, it means you can sleep easier at night knowing the money you work so hard for is backed by the federal government. Okay, so let's backtrack a little bit. What What is the FDIC? Well, the FDIC was created by Congress in 1933 to protect bank depositors and boost public confidence in the country's financial system following the Great Depression. So kind of like an insurance policy, the FDIC protects people's deposits? Exactly. When your money is held in an account at an FDIC-insured bank, you can rest easy knowing that the FDIC will insure your deposits on your qualified accounts up to the coverage amount. Which is a relief. So what kind of accounts are covered by the FDIC? The FDIC is insured should include checking, savings, money market accounts, CDs, and certain kind of individual retirement accounts. Well, which kinds are not covered? But among the accounts that do not qualify for FDIC coverage are stocks, bonds, mutual funds, life insurance policies, and cryptocurrencies. So as long as you're at an FDIC insured bank, you can sleep easier at night knowing that your money is insured and safe? Yeah, that's right, Steve. Just make sure your money is at an FDIC insured bank and breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah, uh, Adam, you're helping a lot of people breathe a lot easier today, so we appreciate that. Hey, always a pleasure, Steve. Thanks for having me. Thank you, and thank you for watching Smart Money Money.